How's it going everyone? It's Cody B Pyrotechnics and today we're going to be taking a look at the Neon Widow canister shells by RGS brand fireworks. Now these bad boys here are going to cost you about a hundred bucks, maybe a little more or a little less depending on where you're shopping. Um, there's a lot of stuff here on this packaging. So for instance, you have new color changing effects. Uh, so these shells are going to be really good. And believe me, I know how many of you guys request these shells. I do read the comments, so I do know that this is a popular shell kit. Taking a look at the side here, there's some photos of the effects. Other side, same thing. Um, there's a lot of stuff down here, what does this say? The Widows are 20% bigger, 20% more composition, and 20% more color. So that's pretty cool. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, that RGS was the first uh, firework company to come out with a five inch shell. And I believe that five inch shell is the Black Widow shells. So this is kind of like the sister shell kit to the Black Widow shells. Anyway, you pull it out. Uh, sleeves are pretty typical. You get a fiberglass tube, I think. I don't know. Yep, that's a fiberglass tube. It looks like that. So some concrete down there in the bottom. I usually pop the bases off of these things anyway, so it doesn't matter. Uh, yeah, five inch shells. Let's cut right into this thing and take a look at some of these effects. I'm going to pull one out. And you'll see the effects are all labeled right there on the shell so you know exactly what it is that you're shooting when you purchase the shells. One thing is there's no plastic top, that's a good sign. I find that the ones without a plastic top tend to be a bit louder. They use string instead of like a rubber band or something. I know I've seen, I've seen rubber bands, I've seen the little plastic deal that comes over to hold the fuse, but the fuse pulls out really nice and easy. We're gonna get all 24 of these shells loaded into this rack right here and shoot them off, so stay tuned. So starting off here, um, there's a couple things we wanna do right away. Obviously, I mean, you can see this mess. It's like, it's like hair. So we don't want that because when you light shells in a rack like this with the fuses as they are, you get a ton of fuse jumping. To reduce that, there's a simple little trick. You can just snip them all down to about right there because we are gonna be connecting these together with zip ties. Um, so I'm going to demonstrate uh, how to do that without cutting your fuse too short. So you can just pull them to the side like that. And then we'll make a cut here. And we'll make a cut about right there. And then I'm gonna grab two zip ties and we're gonna repeat this process through the entire rack. So nothing is gonna be changing from the point where I cut this video to when we shoot them off. But um, we'll get a zip tie in there like this. And this is basically gonna be the connection point that we want right there. Ideally, you'll wanna have two zip ties per connection point. It just ensures ignition a lot better. Um, so it'll look something like that all the way down the rack. And that's gonna get them to fire kind of in a pattern like a cake. So it'd be like one, two, three, four, five, and should be a nice little effect. Um, yeah, we'll get back to you when it's all done. All right, so there's the finished product. Um, fusing them like we did, that's what it should look like. Obviously start down here and finish over here. Only other thing I'm gonna do is add some duct tape to avoid fuse jumping and we'll get right back to you. And now we're all done with the rack. Nice. Not too bad.